Today I'm going to talk about a TPMS diagnostic and service tool. This one is the Maxi TPMS TS401. Comes with a charger because it is uh, battery operated. You need to charge the battery before you can use it. Comes with a USB connection so you can plug it up to the computer and update the software. And it comes with a magnet, which uh, I'll probably never use in my lifetime because these are the f one of the first systems in play, and they're actually pretty rare nowadays. So anyway, it comes with a service manual, and it comes with a uh, CD that has a program on it that lets you communicate uh, with the device, and it, it will uh, update the software to the latest version. Alright, I'll show you all that later in the video. I'm going to get right to the point and show you how to program the vehicle instead of uh, teasing you and leaving that to the end. And the reason for that is uh, if you read the manual, which I did three times, it doesn't tell you how to program the vehicle. Here, let me read this paragraph to you. The Maxi TPMS TS401 is a handheld tool used to activate all magnetic frequency and tire deflation trigger sensors used on vehicle tire pressure monitoring systems to get information such as sensor ID, tire pressure, tire temperature, sensor battery, and frequency. It also sends sensor data to the vehicle's ECU to let the ECU learn the positions of the sensors whenever tires and wheels are rotated or the sensors are replaced. But nowhere in the manual does it tell you how to do that. So I will. It's really a pretty handy tool. Um, I really like it here. It starts up, it tells you the version. Uh, this is the last vehicle I did. I needed a, needed to uh, activate a Volvo XC90. Uh, it was a 2009. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to demonstrate it on a Volvo S80. So actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to program the vehicle, but I'm not actually going to program the vehicle because it's already good to go and I don't want to override it. So we're going to demonstrate this on a Volvo S80. So let's fire this thing up. Well, it's a combination of button pushes. This is like, you know, enter and cancel. Yes, no is what it is. This is the trigger. This allows you to scroll up and down the menu because it's, you know, it's just like a uh, PLC. You know, very easy to use. This button is really great. It's the help button. And wherever you are, are in the process if you press the help button it will tell you uh, how to uh, use it now here it says seven pages relearn procedure so it says you know check the tire pressure make sure there's properly inflated uh, drive the vehicle a speed between 16 and 64 miles an hour for at least 10 minutes mine activated in like less than a quarter mile. Uh, they'll be learned automatically. Any warning will disappear. Uh, parking the car for more than 15 minutes for the system to learn a new sensor. Uh, probably lot, drive less than 10 minutes to the light off but show tire pressure. May need to park for 30 minutes or more. That's like for a Mercedes. But anyway, so that's kind of generic. But if you notice, nowhere did it tell you actually how to do it. Even though the help button is really great in the process. It's really helped me in other situations. So let me show you how to program the vehicle now that I've rambled on. So let's select the vehicle. We're going to select the vehicle. It's a Volvo, and because uh, my previous vehicle is a Volvo, that's why it's on Volvo. But you can scroll down, and that'll take you to the top. If you're at the top, you can scroll up, and that'll take you to the bottom. Uh, because, you know, either that or you'll have to push the button uh, 49 times to get to the bottom. So we're at Volvo. We're going to select an S80. And it's going to be a 2007 model. So we'll select 2007. Now it's telling me to do the front left. But 
If I want to program the vehicle, I have to do something else first. If I just want to check them, which is what you should do, you should check it before you program to make sure all four sensors are functioning properly. So let's say we've checked all four sensors and they're functioning properly. Now I want to program the vehicle. Well, you have to do one thing first. You have to turn the vehicle on. Now I don't know if you need key position one or two. I'm on key position two. Everything's on, lights, everything. Uh, but you definitely need to turn the key on and that's the key to programming the vehicle. No pun intended. So we're going to do what it tells us to do. There's a little arrow right here that tells you how to aim, where to aim it. I know it's black on black. I can hardly see it myself. So you aim it right at the TPMS. You uh, press the trigger. And it will read it. Here's the icons. It's communicating. All the icons are in the... Uh, user manual explains what it does. It says it's receiving data. If it's uh, programming it to the ECU, it'll take a little bit longer. This is just a demo. There you go. It read it. And it's telling me to go to the next wheel. It says it's okay. It read it. It's 34 PSI. Let's go all the way around. If this was a reprogram, then uh, we would now just uh, drive the vehicle uh, so that it could uh, take a reading on all four of the sensors that have now been programmed into the control module. So, uh, like I said, this was a demo. I didn't do that on my XC90. Uh, when I did that one, I drove to the driveway, took a left, drove a quarter mile, light went out, everything was fine. So to update your device, you go to support and updates, and you can go to user manual, uh, software update pack, which is what we want, uh, firmware download, which is what we want. Uh, we'll select our device and download it. So it downloads it into a zip file go to English and you have to unzip it and you get a bin file and an AUT file. Then you go to the software and you say select file and you select a bin file here and you select the AUT file here and then you connect your device to the computer we will uh, scroll down to update mode. We're in program mode. You can now see that the device is connected. Click update one at a time. Uh, the device will tell you when it's updated and then you're done. And you can see where it's software version 3.12 which is software version 3.12, 3.12, and we're good to go.